Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Devin and Nate's fight erupts Jill's plan fails. Jill Abbott's return to town will cause havoc at the jazz lounge, according to the young and the restless. A fact, the trouble began when Mamie Johnson purchased a significant investment in Chancellor Winters, so she must have known Jill was going to blow her top. Jill has returned to GC to go crazy and demand answers about what Mamie is really up to. Jill will be skeptical of Mamie's claims about family unity and capitalizing on a profitable business opportunity. Jill will work even harder to unravel the mystery of Mamie's true motive as the tension rises. Mamie, on the other hand, will dig her heels in and seem to be innocent, despite the fact that she plainly has certain secrets that will be disclosed when the time comes. Div and Hamilton Winters will also question Mamie's motives, so Nate Hastings, Seam Dominic, will come to her rescue and spark a heated argument. Mamie will explain that this is exactly why she returned and that she hopes to help her family heal. Despite Jill's attempt to repurchase the shares, Mamie intends to keep them and rise to the challenge of achieving family peace. Speaking of problems, Diane Jenkins Abbott has surmounted a slew of them in her marriage to Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman. It's almost time for Jack and Diane to have a huge wedding party, so there'll be some more preparing to do. According to The Young and the Restless, Diane will make a critical decision on Thursday's episode, which will definitely be perilous. It may be the guest list or another aspect of the party that could go wrong if Diane makes the incorrect decision. However, since Diane is concerned about Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, this could involve a new plot to assist him. Whatever Diane decides, she will stick to her decision and hope for the best. Devin foils Tucker's nefarious plans. Tucker McCall disclosed an intriguing move in his plot to seize Jabot, according to the young and the restless. But what he told Audra Charles contradicts one of his two previously stated objectives. Tucker, as the audience recalls, returned to Geno City, Wisconsin after spending many years trying to figure out who he was. That old-school expression, dating back decades, still applies to folks in our soapy world who are self-absorbed but also, more compassionately, require the assistance of others. Tucker has faith in himself. He sees life as a series of win-it games, with the impact on people's lives serving as collateral damage, as old warriors have long believed when putting their troops' lives at danger, but never their own. Audra, the young and restless Charles, is a trusted source. Tucker has no feelings for Audra. He does, however, find her physically appealing and considers her to be a younger version of himself in many aspects. The restless and young Devon foils Tucker's nefarious plans. She has a history with Tucker that predates her arrival in GC. Their business partnership at McCall Unlimited was her path to the top of his company, and it included a sexual relationship with him, but it was and still is transactional. Tucker must think telling Audra he believes the Abbots will see through his embezzlement ruse was odd. He claimed it was a distraction and that Jabut's heads would never see what was coming next. Billy Abbott, Y and R, faces his enemy. Billy Abbott dislikes Tucker less than someone like Adam Newman. Billy, on the other hand, deeply distrusts Tucker, as he would anyone who harms those he loves about. Tucker pretended to be astonished when Billy showed up unannounced at his GC Athletic Club suite. When Billy mentioned the emails regarding the scandal Tucker hushed up at McCall Unlimited, his manner altered. The character of Street John believes he is bulletproof, yet he is not. That is a protection strategy, as Audra mentioned during their candid conversation regarding Ashley Abbott McCall at Crimson Lights. Tucker McCall, the young and the restless, endangers relationship with Sun. The issue with Tucker's revenge scheme, whatever it is in full, is not whether it works. It's possible that he intends to seize control of Jabot and then invite Ashley to run it to show her that simply Ashley works. Alternatively, he has told Audra the truth and wishes to harm the Abbott family since they have taken away something valuable from him, namely the company he sold. In any case, Div and Hamilton Winters will find out what is going on. What will happen next on The Young and the Restless? Why jeopardize his connection with Devon, which has been anything but linear, and jeopardize his chance to see his grandson, Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor, Rain and River Ware, because he wants to retaliate against Ashley, the Abbots, or both. 
Tucker is reckless and damaging to himself. As a result, a growing number of GC residents understand what Tucker did when he left town, and that person is still shattered on YNR, explained Abby and Devon's attraction. According to the young and the restless spoilers, there's a reason why Abby and Devon work so well together on the hit CBS drama. That's because they always had a strong attraction to each other. Here's what you should know. The young and the explanation of Abby and Devon's attraction. In a new interview with Soap Opera Digest, actress Melissa Ordway, who plays Abby Newman on the iconic CBS soap, revealed that she always knew Abby and Devon would get together and that it was just a matter of time before it happened. There's never been any judgment between them about their pasts, she remarked. Even before they were together, they were aware of all of their mistakes. I honestly assumed they'd get together while Chance was away and they had a link to the baby's birth. Brighton James, who plays David Hamilton on the program, stated that he and Melissa constantly played up their character's attraction on the show, even when they weren't together. We tried to make it obvious for as long as we could, despite any pushback, he explained. On paper and in the novel, it seemed natural and obvious that their lives would eventually bring them to each other. They don't have any problems, thus they don't argue about anything serious. They can communicate openly with each other so that when any of them needs to be reined in, they may do so without jeopardizing their relationship. What's next for Abby and Devin on The Young and the Restless? My channel, and don't miss any update. Melissa also mentioned that the fact that she and Brighton are such good friends off-screen helps. You're spending more time together running lines and working on the set and having conversations between scenes, so your friendship is definitely growing, she remarked. It might be better or worse, and it got better for us. In the meantime, let us know what you think by leaving a comment in our comments area below. The Young and the Restless airs on CBS during the week. For timings, check your local listings. Jabot Recruit, Patriarch's Promise, and Dirty Playing. According to The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Tuesday, October 3, 2023, Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, attempts to persuade Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, to return to Jabot, Victor Newman, Eric Braden, Promises Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, something. Highlights from The Young and the Restless. In addition, Victoria Newman discusses notes with Nate Hastings. Continue reading to find out what happens in the next episode of the CBS soap opera. Why and R. Jabot hiring? Nikki offered Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, a job as an assistant at Newman Media, according to Y and R. Despite her dislike for Claire, Audra Charles understood better than to dispute Nikki's decision. However, Newman Media will not be the only company looking to hire someone fresh. Over at Jabot, Jack tries to persuade Kyle to rejoin the family firm. Will Kyle agree to return despite having been fired and dumped? After all, Jack and Kyle must deal with some family matters. The restless and young Victor Newman's vow. Victor might still be thinking about Victoria's groveling. Victor said to himself that everyone joining so soon seems odd. Victor, on the other hand, has a long-term strategy in place. As a result, Victor may express his concerns to Nikki. Re A D Yang required Sally's old problem, Jill's new battle. It is also hinted that Victor will make a vow to Nikki. Nikki will be anxious that Victor would permanently damage family bonds, particularly with his children. So perhaps Victor will vow to shut it down if things get out of hand. Victoria Newman, Y and R, compares notes. Victoria made peace with Victor, according to the young and the restless. Victoria, on the other hand, clearly disagrees with Victor's recent business moves, especially following Adam Newman's, Mark Grossman, elevator speech. After that scene, it was evident that Victoria had a plan. R-E-A-D-O-N. Discover what happens next on The Young and the Restless. Nate and Victoria are sent to share notes on Tuesday's episode. Following that, the two might discuss how to deal with Victor and Adam, the young and the elderly. Fans may also see how Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, reacts to Sally Spectra's Courtney Hope confession on Tuesday, October 3. Plus, what does the future hold for Nick's relationship with Sharon Rosales? Nick will seek guidance from Sharon later this week. What does this mean for his relationship with Sally? Which plotline are you most excited to watch on Tuesday, October 3? Please leave your comments in the section below. Keep watching the soap opera on CBS or Paramount Plus to find out what happens next.
Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe.